A passenger plane superjet carrying three crew members has crashed in Russia's Moscow region, local media reported on Friday. According to preliminary reports, there were no passengers on board, and all three crew members lost their lives during the crash. The Ministry of Emergency Situations confirmed the death of the crew members and stressed that there were no casualties among civilians. The plane crashed in a forest area near the village of Apraxino near Kolomna city in Moscow region. The airliner was performing a test flight, a source told Russian RBC news agency. The head of the city district, Alexander Grechishchev, confirmed that the plane crashed in the Apraxino area. He said there were two pilots and a navigator on board. The plane belongs to Gazpromavia airline based in Moscow. The airline performed its last flight with passengers on May 3, and then was sent for repairs. Meanwhile, according to Baza Telegram channel, before the crash the airplane ran out of fuel. Блять, и мусора. Скоро. Да, две. U.S. to deploy long-range missiles in Germany, Russia already issuing threats. The U.S. will begin deploying long-range weapons to Germany in 2026 to strengthen NATO and ensure European defense. This is stated in a joint statement by the two countries. According to representatives of Berlin and Washington, the episodic deployment is preparation for the long-term deployment of a number of weapons including SM-6 missiles, Tomahawk cruise missiles and in the future even hypersonic weapons which have a significantly greater range than current ground-based systems in Europe. As Build writes, US cruise missiles can fly long distances and destroy military targets on enemy territory. These could be command centers, bunkers and radar installations. Tomahawks are launched from mobile launchers, ships or submarines. The range of American cruise missiles is up to 2,500 kilometers which means that in theory they could even reach Moscow. According to the publication, Chancellor Olaf Scholz wants to intertwine the German and American armed forces so closely in the near future that no new US president, and perhaps Donald Trump, will be the one to be able to separate them without causing enormous damage. The Russian Federation has already responded to the plans of the Germans and Americans. In particular, Deputy Minister of Foreign Affairs of the Russian Federation, Sergei Ryabkov, stated that the Kremlin without nerves and emotions will develop a military response to the threat of the USA and Germany. He expressed the opinion that these actions are aimed at damaging the security of the Russian Federation. The US's plan to deploy novel long-range weapons in Germany beginning in 2026 increases the possibility of an arms race and may trigger an uncontrollable escalation Russian ambassador to Washington Anatoly Antonov said, essentially this is about the US's plan to deploy intermediate and long-range missiles in Europe. Washington is making a serious mistake. Such highly destabilizing steps directly threaten international security and strategic stability, the diplomat said on the Russian embassy's Telegram channel. The Americans are increasing the risk of a missile arms race. Here they forget that going the way of confrontation may set off an uncontrollable escalation amid the dangerous aggravation of tensions along the Russia-NATO track. He explained, instead of aspiring for peace like Russia does, the Americans took a dangerous militarist path. There, nobody is thinking about minimizing the dangerous consequences of breaking the Intermediate Range Nuclear Forces Treaty. Washington has yet again displayed its insatiable need to show its own military superiority, the envoy noted.
Kurs war.